You've probably been overwhelmed with the ton of features Notion has to offer, but today I'm breaking down the essential tools every student should be using, the ones that will actually help you study more efficiently, stay on top of your tasks, and ultimately set you up for better grades throughout the semester. Also, I am more than excited to share that this video is in partnership with Notion, so I just want to give a huge thanks to Notion for making this video possible. We're starting off strong with one of the most important areas of productivity, task management. This is my Notion dashboard where I keep all of my academic essentials from course materials, course guides, professor details, and anything else I need for school. This is also where I plot all of my assignments, quizzes, and exams, particularly using this master calendar database. However, for actually time blocking my week and scheduling my tasks every single day, I use Google Calendar and Apple Calendar. I have been working with the setup for years now, but for other people, I understand that the setup may not be practical. This is where Notion Calendar comes in handy. It allows you to integrate all of your Google calendars from all your different accounts in one place and get this you can also integrate all your calendar databases within notion so now you can see all your academic deadlines alongside your time block schedule for the week without having to juggle between different apps right now i have my three google accounts synced here one for school one for personal use and one for work any changes i make will automatically reflect back to my google calendars and any task i add within this notion calendar will also sync with the original database now if you ever have have different calendar databases within Notion. Say you have one for school, one for work, one for internships. You don't have to worry about missing anything important anymore. You can just click on add Notion database, search up the specific database you want to add. In my case, let's say we're adding my internship deadlines. And now I can see all of my internship to do's alongside my school deadlines. With the setup, I am better able to schedule my week because A, I know my priorities across the different aspects of my life at a glance, and B, I will won't overlook anything. What's even more convenient is you can access your database properties within the calendar itself. So if I'm done with a certain task, I can just change the status right here to done and I don't have to go back to my dashboard and search for it in my database. Now what if I tell you Notion can completely change the way you learn? From explaining your lessons when they start to get complicated to quizzing you on these lessons without leaving you to make the flashcards by yourself one by one, all that can be done with just Notion AI. It is one of the coolest additions to Notion and honestly, it's something I wish was there back when I was in college. Let me show you some of the ways you can take advantage of this tool for studying. First, understanding. Sometimes, studying can get to a point where you have to call a friend just to understand a certain lesson. With Notion AI though, you can do so in just seconds. For example, I have this sample page right here where I have my notes for the history of microbiology. <sighs> Sounds boring, but you can use Notion AI to explain this lesson in a way that sounds more interesting, which I believe would help important information stick. Just click this button on the bottom right corner of your screen to open up Notion AI. Let's type in our prompt. Explain. I'm typing with one hand, so bear with me. This lesson to me in a story, for example. And in just seconds, it has created this entire narrative from your notes. What's great is it also references specific pieces of information in this narrative from your notes. So you can always look back whenever you need to. Second, active recall. Say your notes are already complete, you've understood the lesson, and now it's time to actually test yourself. You can just ask Notion AI to quiz you on this entire lesson, and it will create questions for you to answer. As simple as that. Next, research. When you're writing your thesis, or even papers in school, School, you would need to read a lot of journals and from my experience most of these come from the language of seasoned researchers they reflect years of experience and expertise so they're not always the easiest for students to understand and digest with notion ai though you can just upload any pdf file ask ai to summarize the key points from this article and you can organize these results directly onto your page fourth digitizing this is by far my favorite application of Notion AI. I have these handwritten notes from back when I was in high school and even during my first year of college. These notes are super valuable to me that until now, I still use them to understand certain concepts. The recurring problem I had with these though is when I'm studying outside, I can't easily access them. I can't bring these binders either because they're too heavy to bring all at once. However, you can actually digitize these notes using Notion AI. So just upload a picture of your notes. Just make sure the handwriting is clear and legible enough, type in your prompt, say, digitize these handwritten notes into 
typewritten notes. And literally, in just a few seconds, it will turn them into blocks that you can directly move onto your Notion dashboard. Isn't that amazing? Now, note-taking, I'm sure we can all agree, can be time-consuming. But what if we could save time and make our note-taking process a little more efficient? Two features. First, voice typing, which is a tool that is available both on your laptop and on your phone. You can just click on edit on the menu bar or this little microphone button on your phone and already start dictation. This way, you don't have to type in every single word from a video or an audio lecture, you'll capture more details without falling behind, and you can just focus on actually listening and understanding the lesson. Second, buttons. Buttons have a lot of possible applications, but I feel like it truly is one feature that is so often overlooked. So if you want to use Notion to organize and take your notes, one way to streamline the process is to make sure you already have a structure in place, which you can just edit during the lecture. And one of the ways to create that structure is by using buttons. So say we're writing notes for a specific lesson. In this case, let's say the lecture is about microbial diversity and evolution. Let's open up the slash commands, search for button, rename this to add a key concept for when we're adding new information from the lecture, and then let's set this up to how we want the blocks to look like, how we want our notes to look like. So when button is clicked, insert blocks, let's structure this by having a heading one, add a bullet point, let's add heading two this time, and then a couple of bullet points under. Once you've set that up, every time you add a key concept, you already have this pre-formatted structure ready for you to fill out during the lecture. Much more efficient than having to dump all information with no organization and then having to rearrange your notes at the end of the day. Now, what makes Notion powerful isn't just because it can store all your essentials in one place, but because it can organize and link all of them in a way that works for you. And one of the ways it does that is through databases, which I would argue to be Notion's most powerful feature and what really sets it apart from other productivity tools out there. I'm going to show you a couple of databases I have in my student dashboard. I'm going to run through them first before I show you how they are connected with one another. So this is my courses database where I keep resources, materials, and other details for all courses across the entire duration of my program. This is my course guides database, which is a reference point for every class. This is where I have quick access to the scheduled modules and lessons for the week. This is my master account which is also a database. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this shows all of my assignments, exams, quizzes, every deadline I have across classes. Now, instead of having separate databases, each one existing on their own, functioning independently from the rest, I can link these databases together, essentially building connections between databases, so I can easily cross-reference information and even go back and forth between them seamlessly. For example, if I open up a course page, let's use my public health course as an example, scroll down to the course outline, you can see that my course guides are linked here. This linked view is even filtered to show only the modules that are specific for this public health course. Further down this course page, you can see a filtered view of my master calendar, which again shows only the tasks that are due for this specific course. If I use my course guides database as my main page this time, you can see that each module is linked to their respective courses and it will also link to all of the tasks that are due for this specific module. Anytime I click these links, I will be redirected to their original pages. See, information flows smoothly across each one. Within databases, you can even set up automations. Let's use my master calendar as an example. These are all of the properties I've set up. Again, I have a detailed explanation of each one in my Notion setup guide, but one key property that is worth noting, particularly for automations, is the status. Right now, there are four options you can choose from. You may not have started on a task, the task may be in progress, or the task may be completed or submitted. The reason I've added the submitted option is because sometimes you may overlook completed tasks. You may think you've already submitted an assignment just because you've marked it as done, but the truth is you haven't and you've already missed the deadline. To avoid that from happening even further, we can set up an automation to record exactly when and what time you've submitted an assignment. So open up a page in your master calendar. Let's add a new date property and rename this to date submitted. Go to your database settings and and create a new automation. So when the status is marked as submitted, just leave this one specific option tick. Do edit the date submitted property and then set up the custom formula. I'm going to have the entire formula in the description below so you can just copy and paste that. But essentially what that does is 
anytime you click on the submitted option, this property will automatically record the date and time you submitted a specific assignment. Ah, and did I forget to mention you can set up different layouts for your databases? You can set it to a table, a board, like a Kanban board, a timeline, which is so helpful for creating an exam study schedule, a calendar like mine, a list, a gallery, and most recently, even a feed layout. I'm sure you can already think of a bunch of different ways to use Notion in your workflow. And honestly, there's so much more you can do with it. The best part is you can really make it your own. It's flexible enough to fit however you study, plan, and organize your entire life. I hope this gave you some ideas to get started and maybe even inspired you to try out features you didn't know were possible. I'll have the link to Notion in the description below so you can sign up for free today. And you'll also find my own dashboard so you can start creating a system that fits your learning style. Again, thank you so, so much to Notion. And most of all, thank you to you guys for always sticking around. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!